Hey guys, what's up? It's Sajid in here, Sajid for short. And today I've got another cooking video just for you. It's a simple, quick courgette curry, which I'm gonna make today. And like all my other stuff, it's like a side curry kind of thing. Vegetarian as always, so let's get right into it. This dish it usually isn't even so it's more like a side thing. It's like a side dish to the main one, like all my ones, my non-existent ones, that is. Anyway, so it's like a side dish to the main curry, like if you have the chicken curry in the middle, you got your, your courgette, your dal, all the other good stuff. I'll show you a few more in the future videos coming soon. If you want to make sure you stick with that and want to do that, you need to like, subscribe and comment. That would be greatly appreciated. So let's not waste any more time, let's go right into it. So first off, we have one teaspoon of mustard, fennel and cumin seeds. Then we have two to three tablespoons of oil. You should know that by now. Then we have one or one and a half onions. I'm using one and a half. Next up, we have four cloves of garlic or you can just use half a garlic cube. Next up, we have curry leaves. You know, you know, just a small handful, just enough for the fragrance. Three courgettes. Well, I'm using six because I'm going to do a big batch because I like to cook in batches. Next up, we have five to six chilies, depending on how spicy you want it. I like it spicy, but if you put too much, you can always combat that with good old coconut milk, which is a common thing in Sri Lanka, something we all love. For methods, first up, you want to prep your veg. So you want to wash and chuck, cut up your onions and courgettes. You want to cut onions in small strips and courgettes in your thin cubes, although size doesn't really matter. That's what she said, but then I got kicked out of bed last time that happened. Anyways, yeah, cut it into small cubes so that it cooks way, it cooks faster, but like I said, it doesn't really matter, but small would make it quicker if you're running out of time and stuff. And then get yourself a small to medium sized pan, and all you want to do, add a bit of oil, add the two to three tablespoons of oil and let it heat up for a bit. And once hot, add in your mustard, fennel and cumin, roast it off for around 30 seconds to a nice and golden brown caramelized colour. You know, it's like, it's kind of the same. Every curry has that, those steps are always the same, so you don't need to. It'll, it'll be second nature by the time you start properly making curries. And then you want to add in your onion. And if you're using fresh garlic, add it in with that. If not, add it later. But you want to caramelize the onions to a nice golden brown. Lower the heat and add your courgettes, that's it. And then you will let it cook down where the water will evaporate, which is take like 15 minutes, like 20 minutes, 50. Add salt to taste. And then if you feel like it's not spicy enough after adding chilies, you can add a bit more. But what you could do is add a bit of coconut milk so that it gives it a bit of a nice, yeah, white color with white green color. It's quite nice. You take it off the heat and you're done. Simple as really. There you go guys, just like that we have a quick and easy, simple courgette curry, just a side dish. You can eat it if you want main, but mostly have it on the side with like a curry, like a tomato curry, chicken curry, any meat curry, because it goes really, really well with that. Makes it a bit more healthy as well. So the like macros should be listed over here. And if you want to check out what curry that will go well with, there's the chicken curry video that should be in the link from below and one of the cards here. I always get mixed up. And you can always have it with a bit of dal as well. Like I said, link in the description. And that is it for now. Thank you all so much for watching. If you did find anything here useful, please do leave a like, comment and do subscribe. Turn on notifications bell so you don't miss out on any of the future content. And until then, if I don't see you again, good morning, good evening and good night.